Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria 2. This should be episode 5 of our China the Roaring Dragon campaign. Um, we do, so we just beat off or bit off a big portion of Japan, just these two little regions. Um, but pretty much immediately afterwards, we get word that the Heavenly Kingdom is, well, it's here. So war is on our way. Sad, but we must fight a rebellion now. Um, let's see what happens. Okay, there's the Heavenly Kingdom. They have 54 brigades. We have 62 of them. Uh, this is not going to look good for us. Not at all, actually. And these armies are not very well maintained. Um, what's their best avenue approach here? Let us actually completely get rid of all these frigates we're trying to build. Um, let's focus our military spending on building troops, which I believe are being built. Yes. And we're going to need all of them. Um, these are all Heavenly Kingdom troops too. Which I think is actually... We're not at war with just yet. So, if we can actually take out all these units... Oh, they're going to be over here though. Uh, let's go. So let's stand. Bleh. Stay all of our units over here. Oh, they're going over here now. Um, I'm gonna reorganize our armies really quick. And this army. So I don't know how well this is going to be organized. Like that. Okay, so now you're all organized. Let's hope this event fires soon. No. They're retreating. This is going to be painful. Um, you all... Reorganize there. I'll send some down here. Uh, you come up here. This is going to be formidable. Uh, they have 44 million people. We have 53 million. This is actually a really decently sized Heavenly Kingdom. And we need to fight them off. So, small arms, canned food, regular clothes. Small arms, canned food, and regular clothes. Where are you? Right here. Can we get these resources at all? Looks like it. Looks like it. Looks like we are good on clothes. And we should be good on food as well. And now we just have a high demand for guns. Okay, so... Hmm. To continue the existence of the Taiping rebels is an embarrassment to the king, governments, and our empire. They are uncivilized, right? Yes. Can we actually get a lot of research points from this? Um, calls have been made for the war to resume, and this time for the national effort to be started to draft men into the King Army. There will be civil resistance, but the Emperor has decreed that the Heavenly Kingdom must be destroyed. Trust the command to get it right. Um, declare war on the Heavenly Kingdom. There we go. War has been declared. And they actually have substantial Chinese unification. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. I 
how do they have more? Because of military spending or something? All right, regardless, what's the first? Okay, West. Oh, we have more literacy. Uh, encourage intellectuals there. And the Manchu dominance. Gain research points. Gain a bunch of receptive cultures. Um, since the beginning of the Qing Dynasty, the Chinese imperial administration and bureaucracies had been dominated by a powerful Manchu elite. And the Qing emperors had traditionally discriminated heavily against ethnic Han. In the 1860s, Empress Dowager Sixi effectively ended this practice when she entrusted the country's most powerful unit to a man of Han background. Um, okay, so... Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see how that works out for us. Hopefully, well... All right, and we're already gonna have battles starting out over here. Um, great, great, great. Are you in the war? Call ally, they will accept. You're in the war as well. Um, you are literally only infantry. Okay, so let's just send you down anyways. bit of an interesting situation because most of the units are over here in Korea and stuff. Okay, cool, cool. We got this, guys. We got this. Where did our army go? We just left him here? Uh, yeah, send some troops over here then. But reinforce these guys, please. Because they're going to... Looks like... Kaesong. Finish this one. Chengde. So maybe we just focus on wiping out their units. We have this army here as well. And here looks like we did take out their army. Um, here, let's go ahead and pursue. You guys can come down here. Yeah, they have 33 brigades now. And we have a ton of troops being built. So hopefully we can end this war quickly. And they're retreating to where? Fang Yang? Just here? Let's do it. Um, I have to have you help out. While you go ahead and invade here, and you invade here. Awesome, we won that. Um, then... Let's just do this. Start occupying. I know there's this army down here, but we'll go ahead and take care of them fairly soon. It looks like we might actually... Well, no, all the cavalry have actually been built. It's really their only big substantial army is this one. There's like a few stragglers down here, but I think we got this. I like to think if I were to actually play the Heavenly Kingdom myself, I might be able to win. This is a fairly good spot for the Heavenly Kingdom to be in. 
And I'm kind of curious what a playthrough like them would be like. In fact, I may actually try to experimenting with that at some point. Yeah, especially since, um, what is it? I think I have a save. Did I save it? 1847, fairly. I may actually just do a test run. I'm not sure if I'll stir it on YouTube. I'm gonna try to experiment with it. See if it's actually a situation that could be won. Um, yeah, send you guys go defend. Maybe? No, we just lost that. Um, Chen Zhao, Chen Zhao. We'll just kind of equalize that battle there. Uh, can we get more troops? One, two, oh, they aren't transferring. Why are they, are they stuck or something? Oh, there we go, there we go. Let's send you guys out here. I'm not sure if we get there in time, but we can see. And a bunch of troops over here too, apparently. And we just won that. They're going down to running. They'll get there on the 15th of February. They'll get there on the 13th. Okay. Uh, we'll get there on the 13th. How about now? 18th and 17th. Let's try that. We have a plus three attack. Let's so see if we can go ahead and attack this army. I think we'll have a good chance to. Um, you guys do that. I'm going to have you... You're going to lose out. Go down there. There's still like no cavalry. I think it's just, we need more cavalry in that army. Um, let's try that for now. Probably most of our cavalry were the ones that got destroyed. We're well, already going there. Let's go here. We're at twenty-one percent. We're definitely winning. Well, the way it started out, it could have been a pretty bad um, sort of situation. But if I were the Heavenly Kingdom. What I would have done is actually keep my units, well, over here they wouldn't, well, maybe over here, um, get them all combined, and then what I would do is immediately start recruiting a ton of troops, buy out all the trade resources, so by the time the Chinese armies get here, I'll have, like, a ton of armies put together. I feel like that's the only viable solution for them. Or, if I was being smart and trying to gaming a system, I would make a navy that's part of the king, station the navy over here so they would immediately flip over to the Heavenly Kingdom and put their navy right here so that none of these troops could actually get over to mainland China. <laughs> that's a way to do it. Do they have any troops? They have 29 still. I guess there's this army. Nanjing on the 23rd. Let's attack him. Looks like they actually survived. They're heading back here. Can we make any more troops? No, because there aren't any cavalry. 
They're being made, though. Oof. Which province is that? Lu Yang? It's right here. So, 936,000 people in this province. After the floods. Ooh, that's 200,000 people dead. Another revolt? You're kidding me. How was it this time? Uh, with Muslim led unrest existing throughout the province of Xinjiang, a Tajik adventurer by the name of Yakub Beg had, has led rebels to seize the capital of Kashgar and has driven the king governors away. The situation on the frontier appears to be out of hand, with these Muslims having declared independence, states, and full jihad against the emperor. Uh, okay, so. Release Xinjiang. Wait. Oh, it's these guys, huh? They have five brigades. Which are right here. Is that Gal Gaming? Is that Gaming? <laughs> <laughs> that probably is i i literally just okay <laughs> but they don't have much in the way of population in general so that'll kind of save us some time they are at war with heavenly kingdom and me interesting And they're heading for Kyung. Um, we'll get there eventually. You have plus three attack. Let's go actually have you attack this army here. You push there. You just push down here as well. Or I can send you out to the west. Uh, do that. And now they have only 10 brigades left. Let's do it like that. How much longer do we have here? Oh, that's not even our army. I'm like, trying to click it. <laughs> you go here. Um, we're at 66% now. War should be open. Or for very soon. Uh, apparently just lost a battle somewhere. What, down here? Right there, it looks like. Uh, over here, it looks like we should have enough troops for at least something. Get you guys out there. And my puppets are finally attacking their army. That's them. A European military mission. Oh, modernization. Let's take it. And it gives us research points. Which we're at 7,000 now. Um, Japan is yet to westernize. Four more years. Lost the Mandates of Heaven. 
Clearly, China has lost faith in the Manchu. Okay. Isn't that a requisite towards one of these things? Oh, interesting. Apparently, you can actually mobilize. Yeah, it would give us some mobilization because um, civilizations give minus 10%, but that would actually give us what a total net of plus 3%. And as China, that's probably a pretty substantial amount. Otherwise, we yeah, do not have. If that was one of these things, you can't have the mandates of heaven. Oh, yeah, do not have the country flag mandate. Nope. Heavenly Kingdom does not exist and did not have absolute monarchy. Or any type of monarchy. Okay, okay, okay. So that'll be one of our subsequent goals, it seems, is to get rid of the monarchy. And we are apparently in debt. Like, substantially. So we'll just hold off on educating our populace for now. Uh, probably these are very uh, rich provinces, and they are now gone. And unite the nation. Let's take it. Awesome. 25,000. Let's take this, and then we'll go for one of these ones. Heck yeah. Okay. So I thought that would be the case. If we were to take over Heavenly Kingdom, it would probably give us a big push in civilization levels. And it totally did. Maybe Cash Korea would be similar too, because they're at 20%. Well, it's making them a puppet. It's not actually annexing them. It's a little bit of a different story. But still. Um, and with you... One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. We are gonna need more cavalry. Five? Would that work? No. More like eight. There we go. And I think we're just going to wait to conquer Japan. Because honestly, everything else could probably wait a little bit. Siam is in... Yeah, they're all in the UK's sphere. And these guys are hardly westernized. So it's not... It's probably going to cause more issues than it would actually solve. And one sec, my computer's dying. <laughs> and I am back. I have no idea what happened. My computer literally, the fan just turned into a wind tunnel or turned to an airplane turbine or something. That was weird. That was really weird. <laughs> Hasn't really done that ever. My GPU and process and everything like that, I mean, it's it can handle Paradox games. Like, no problem whatsoever. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I think my GPU may have just started getting a little bit hot, so my computer was like, oh, we're gonna turn the fan on full blast. But of course, it's fine now, it's fine. Uh, let's keep going with... No. No. We're gonna lose so much points. I liked all of it. I guess I should have gone for the most expensive one. I didn't even think about that. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, sad. There goes all our research points. I probably just lost a battle over here. And more reactionaries. So 
So you're gonna go that way. You are... Let's go this way. Sound a little bit high. I feel like it sounds a little bit high. I'm gonna be a little bit better. Okay. Um, these armies I think are still mostly fine. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Uh, we do have a ton of intellectuals in this one territory. We're going for uh, Hallows Ballading. Also at 2.4. Uh, West Shandong is 2%. Okay, okay. North Yangsu. Wait, I did not go through. Uh, is 2.5. What happened here? It's like we're suddenly a lot more intellectual. 2.23. Uh, okay, South Lanwei then. Interesting. And what is going on? Why is our... We'll take our military spending down for one. Um, what else? We did lose a ton of population all of a sudden, randomly. Doesn't really help in that case. We have four research points being optimized. There we go. We took that. Um, you. Well, these territories over here kind of suck. Yeah, invading this is not fun. Supply limit of six. They're gonna get there on the 21st. They'll beat us. I think these guys called in. Yeah, that'll help actually. Call in Mongolia. Uh, King Kai does not have any troops, but you do, Tibet. How about you guys fight this war for me? Sure, that's the spirit, man. That's the spirit, gentlemen. We're just gonna be chasing these guys around. Let's just ignore it. Um, how about you go ahead and defend that army? Tibet wants access, sure. You need a lot of rebellions from reactionaries right now. Um,. Ooh, leadership modifier. I will take that, actually. Um, European military mission. Yes. Looks like our population is suffering once again. Um, it's really just administration, education we're spending so much on. Our people are not making enough money for us to make any headways here. Well, once we're done with this war, we might be able to scale back a little bit.
And they'll accept. Great. Okay, so King Empire, we have a few things we can do. Self-strengthening movements. We cannot take a backseat to the Western nations. We must make strides towards modernizing, no matter the cost. Ooh. I like this. 250,000 gold, or pounds, or whatever, euros. Uh, research points plus 0.75. That's substantial. Uh, more prestige. More militancy and consciousness. But I think that's fine. So we're at 4.11 right now. Now we're at 5.14. So, ideal of independence or loyalty? That's the question. Research point bonus is much better with loyalty. I think I like loyalty more. Um, mobilization impact is a lot higher. So, these are the better armies, but this is better for research in general. And better for our pops, it looks like. Let's go for loyalty. Solid. Now we're at 5.29. Foreign trading post. Um, I almost want this just because it does reduce our population needs, but then again, it also increases reactions, which do not, we do not want that much. Definitely do not want. Then again, being a reactionary party might be good. I just want to become China. Western education. Yes, you get more research points. Dugan revolt crushed. Uh, yes. Xinjiang is back. Now reforms. We're at 5,000. I think our next goal is going to be one of these, really. Because these are a little bit more expensive, but this will be better. Financial reform might be good. This could also be good. Let's take these armies back. And we can start building up a new military. Oops. Uh, combine. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Send them to Japan. That's going to be our next goal here. And we'll probably need more infant or cavalry. It kind of works out. Alright, guys. So, I'm going to end this episode here. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, we won our civil war, so hoorah. Next episode, we're going to have to build up our army again, obviously, and then we're going to take the war back to Japan and hopefully get a lot of westernization progress done. So again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. As always, please leave a like down below and consider subscribing if you would like to see more content just like this and more frequent uploads. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time.